Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I have today a fun silhouette file. I've been into mini purses lately. Um, I have some dies that I'll be showing you, um, some tonic dies with some lovely purses, <clears throat> as well as our daily bread. But also, on our, if you have a silhouette cameo or a brother scan and cut or a cricket, you can often find files that have this. And I'll put the file number for this silhouette cameo purse down below. Now it's not the bow um, or the flower on this case. This is the actual size. Let me start with this one of the file. Um, I added this flower from my stash which is sprayed with some pearlescent spray. I think this is a Spellbinders flower dye. Um, but it cuts out the actual purse and then all these matting pieces. So it's very easy to put together and it's actually quite roomy. Even the small size little candies or whatever, um, roll up a little whatever, I don't know, lots of little ribbons and things you could use this in a little embellishment um, box to send for happy mail or what have you. So this is the size that I cut out and then I enlarged it and I went ahead and made this one which I thought turned out really pretty and I love this is even roomier. Now this I did with the file and I'll show you. Um, I enlarged it this is the base of the box is, this is one we're going to be making today. So um, the base of the box looks like this. And when I enlarge, this one's a little bit smaller than this one is. So when I enlarged it, I made this base piece fit just inside that 12 by 12 um, silhouette thing in your design studio. So I uh, thought that turned out really well and it's very easy to put together. Great for party favors and things if you have to make a lot of these. I used a bow from my stash. I think this is creative time. And then a little piece of bling to go with the little uh, designer paper that has glitter on it already. Alright, so those are our two. Let's go ahead and today I have some yellow, nice buttery yellow. I have some Maggie Holmes um, paper. I forget which collection it's from. I have it from acdigitals.com. All the pieces, so I cut out that piece. I cut out the panel pieces that are going to go here, 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 and here. And then I cut out a piece of this lovely light blue um, from a bow in my stash. So we'll put that together as well. Actually, maybe we'll put that together now so it can start drying. I have some art glitter glue that I have really been enjoying. Uh, and you can get these fine tips. I got mine on Amazon. And you can get large refill bottles. But um, I think it works really well. So to kind of train the card stock, you're just going to kind of take a pencil or marker here and just kind of Train it to go that way because we want it to fold in. Nice about this particular die is it has all the pieces right where you need them. Because I, I don't know, <laughs> sometimes I have problems. Okay, all right, so what you want to do, it has this little hooky do back here. So you're going to go ahead and put the slots in. And then make that go flat and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue just to kind of help that stay down and then I'm going to press that down there and then for this piece wrap around piece to actually fit all the way around you really need to make sure that you bend it right at the bow or it won't make it all the way around so just bend it right at the center and it's got just enough to come around the corner one last time because this is the front and you're going to put a little bit of glue in there to let it dry because I've got other things to do. There's your boat. Yeah. All right, so we'll come back to that. Um, and then it's just for these matting pieces a matter of putting, um, gluing the pieces on. It's really simple. Uh, I don't really even need a video for this, but I thought this file, I wanted to highlight it. It's so pretty and easy. Perfect for this time of year, weddings and... Um, showers and of course we already had Mother's Day but uh, birthdays and you could make this masculine as well you could turn it into some sort of little suitcasey thing I don't know the shape is a little bit feminine but you never know um, a little girls party you could go unicorny on it lots of things you could do very usable I think it's a Lori Whitlock I have to double check that well you'll see when I put the file in there but very usable. It's 
sometimes you get these really cute files and they're a little bit complicated to put together, but this one is pretty simple. So it only has two for the two flaps because these are going to be covered up when we fold it. Great for teacher's gifts. We're at the end of the year here. Um, maybe you're done with school or piano lessons or whatever it is. All right, I'm going to grab my bone folder here and then just kind of very easy. They almost don't need to be, actually, I probably don't need that. Um, perforations are nice and wide, long perforations, I should say, that are easier to fold. So you're just going to move all of them, and then you want to make sure you just glue it so that this, when you glue, is obviously your panel shows. So, um, okay, so it's just going to come up like that. So we're just going to put glue. Lovely for um, pillow gifts if you have guests staying, you run a bed and breakfast, you could leave these little customer gifts, these could be door prizes. Yeah. Oh, there's so many. You know, once I start talking, you're like, I know, we know what to do with it. Just giving you some ideas. I love versatile things. Now all four sides are covered in that pretty paper. I love that yellow and that sort of salmon-y color. All right, check on our bow here. And it's all nice and glued. And I'm just going to bring these tails a little bit forward. And then it's just a matter of, you could hang a little tag off of here like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and put this right on the front. Hold that down for a bit. Super simple. And you can make a bunch of these and not glue the sides together and just store them flat. And then, you know, you could prep ahead if you've got a party or something, and then you can put them together at the last minute, which is always nice. All right. And there you have it. Very, very cute. I love how cute it is. So here's my hand. So I enlarged this one, which is a little bit smaller than the big one I enlarged. So this fits your entire 12 by 12 layout. Um, so you need a big piece of paper for this. Um, this is sort of a medium size. And this is the original cut file size, which is super tiny and cute. So hopefully you like those. They're so cute. You can make a little purse pie. Um, Anyway, and you can decorate them in so many different ways. You can hang, like I said, little tags off of here. You can put sentiments across there. You can stuff them with tissue or a little shred and put all sorts of little crafty gifts in there or whatever. All right, guys, hope you like that quick little video and fun file. I hope you check that out. And thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.